there are very good comments. I want you to understand that this is a job is on you. It is constitutional. This is the last vetting committee of the Republic before people enter into public service at a certain level as mandated by the Constitution. I don't take confirmation on here and there. When you go outside here, you have people out there looking to support the Constitution. You're confirming that. They will care that it down. We will not do our work and we will confirm you not necessarily you generally. And the person who is confirmed is not performing, not delivering. The very people who are down there to the chairman squad, they can say, but I don't confirm the people. They can say, we're working here with placards, t shirts, drums. It says that it's not confirmed. So I don't take confirmation here and there. I wanted to lay that premise. I know I have 10 minutes, and I will take a couple of my 10 minutes to do my speech at the end of it. Mr. Nomini, what is your assessment if you have done any evaluation, if you have done any? of the police force you left and the one that you may inherit, she will confirm you. Question. Thank you, Senator. So I haven't, I haven't had the uh, full uh, assessment that I will need to do to be able to make a more informed decision. But uh, just from the look of things and what we were privileged to at the, uh, uh, the transition period, because I headed the, uh, trans the, the transitional working team at the police, there, 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 are, there are many challenges. The police, I mean, the police are faced with some very, very serious challenges that threatens the national security of the state. There's been some reversals of uh, some strategic gains, and uh, they need to be addressed immediately. However, when I, when, I, uh, when I am confirmed and have the opportunity to have access to all of the uh, resources and the available documentation, I will definitely give you uh, a better assessment of what it is. But from the look of things, it's not, it's not what I, what, where I left it. Thank you. Uh, should you be confirmed, do you commit that you will need the investigation, fresh investigation, uh, to bring closure when necessary to some of these unexplained, suspicious deaths that occurred in this country that have not had final, conclusive closure, and also including the three missing Liberians from this emotion, uh, uh, through this emotion, uh, there are a lot of suspicious death, especially notable, mm -hmm. that are still lingering in the minds of our people, in the minds of our people, and can we throw please, uh, Senator? Order, please. Yeah. Give the Senator protection kind. Do you commit on an order that these matters will be according to according to kids? Will you leave them question? Yes, I do, Mr. Senator. Uh, as a matter of fact, we, uh, some of the investigators who uh, have been uh, around for a while are even volunteering to so to lend support just to review some very, very old files uh, I did years and years and years back, uh, just to give closure to some matters. And it's not just uh, over the last uh, few years, we're looking at cases that have been there for uh, 
as long back as in, in the uh, early 2000s and stuff. All of them have absolutely no limits. Anything that we can find, some piece of evidence going to bring proper closure, we will look into, into, into that. So, I will, uh, should you be so fun? Uh, I want you to go on knowing that I'm a member of this committee. These are matters of our habits. These people who, most of whom, uh, died under circumstances unexplained and no closure. They are residents of the country that I represent. First, and they are Nigerians, as, as myself. I am very, very, very concerned about that, as they are represented. And I will be in a constructive way, having a committee with breaking on many times. Let's move on. Mr. Nomini, the traffic in our country is due largely to lack of roads, we can understand, or um, somehow to lack of roads, we can understand, but largely, in my view, to indiscipline, impatience, especially led by us, the quote unquote big, big people. Mr. Nomini, do you commit that you will cause our traffic, the evil of traffic, to be a place of discipline where a senator did not got no business being there, taking quote unquote telling in my view that does not exist in this country. You will have the courage using the law to act. Because when you act on Senator Dillon at his level, the ordinary man will know that we mean business here. My personal view is that when there's vehicle of traffic, sometimes the ordinary man stays in the traffic until he sees one of us take the thing they call them in the opposite lane, and then everybody jumps to them. We are the reason, I'm not, that's my view. Do you commit to me? that you will try as much to restore discipline in our country. Question. Thank you, Senator. Um, over the last uh, three weeks, we've been running some exercises uh, using different means of transportation from uh, as far as Broville uh, to town and uh, from uh, the red light area to Maru to the city of Monrovia. The exercise has been to inform us about the drive time from these different locations at various times of rush and peak hours. And based on what our findings are, I can, I can safely tell you we will be helping to improve the quality of life of our people by at least giving them a few extra minutes of sleep uh, before you get up to run to work by the measures we're going to be putting in, into place to uh, uh, help to decongest traffic during rush and peak hour. And we will be taking some, act, some actions to also restore order. Uh, and I will, I, will, I will request, when confirmed, to have an immediate uh, meeting with this body asking for support in that regards. Because there are other things that I would like to, to uh, address and this for us to discuss and agree upon that will give us the support we need to be able to roll it out effectively and that the officers can act freely and fairly as they, uh, as they uh, continue to enforce. So, Mr. Nominee, I'm aware that there is a law that gave category officials of government the right to take what we call tell <coughs> Because I know somebody may want to uh, make that reminder. I want to make it clear I'm aware. But I, I'm also aware that that law says, especially for us law makers, when we are coming to a session, and when we are coming from a session, now we go to church. Now we go to the floor. Now we go to the Because we must start this thing from us, yeah, yeah, yeah. ourselves, so that the ordinary man can see the discipline oh, and perform. No, I just want to do that. Um, two more, um, two more concerns, Mr. Uh, Zomini.
One of my colleagues at the center, Snow Starter, and then Senator President Donkey went further with that. Morale amongst your officers. Most times when people talk about morale amongst the officers, the men and women in uniform, they think it's important they increment in their dissenting. Senator Christian Dolphin made reference to even the main uniform that's on him. Uh, the logistics to do his work. More desires is the only protection of your men who you deploy with you. The police officer, Staff Senator Dillon, and Senator Dillon does not have driver license. He's in violation of the vehicular traffic law. That police officer has some courage to say, Senator Dillon, you park your car because you are you're driving without driver license. Senator, they don't take a telephone and call you the director of police, and you say, you tell the police, the, the police officer that the woman is not Senator Dillon. You think when that police officer see me again, he will stop listening. Free from intimidation, protection, boosting their morale, and when they do their job, they will get promoted. Do you commit to protecting? Yes, I do, sir. Thank you, Lawson. I brought a budget book, not for you. This is not the draft. This is the approved national budget 2023, January 1 to December 31, 2023. Approved, printed by the executive marshal. It is not a draft. Uh, in 2023, the 2023 budget. In 2022, this legislature approved 19.6 million for the police. I'm reading from the 2023 approved budget. <laughs> Printed budget. Out of the 19 million, the police got 14 million for salary for personnel. That means we got about nine or uh, five million, close to six million for operation of our costs. The fiscal out term for 2022 says the exact figure that was approved by the legislature was raised for the year last year, raised fiscal order for 2022. 2023, this body approved 20 million for the police, 40 million for salary and other administrative costs, and 6 million left for operation and all other issues. Why am I doing this? I'm saying this because. Every time the police is called to go to a crime scene and say no motorbike, the question is, why the law make them do it? You are inheriting a budget projected on the very budget, the same amount, 20 million. About six million will be left for the police to function and operate. Will you commission or ask for the commission of an audit of the outgoing administration? Should you be confirmed? So we know what they did with all the money and that policing getting hang of motorbikes, no new uniform for the last three years. Budget year, the police have got money in the budget. The country does not know this because this budget is picked by the public, especially the media, and everybody goes to see how much there for the lawmaker and they close the whole file on the document down. It appears that the whole file on the page is only the lawmaker that money and eating. 
do you commit that you will commission an audit? Question. The best practice is that, uh, and I 100% commit to it. Father, I'm going to ask you to Father, 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 The oath and the nominator was to say the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth during this period. I'm very much aware of what I'm saying. Thank you. That John interview, yes. Thank you. Yes, I am Do you sweat or will you sweat? Yes, I am The chairman said, I got it from. Thank you. Thank you. I have taken my turn now. We're in there 15 minutes, huh? So no me are you will resolve it. We have to be kind of